Hello, students. It's Mr. Vogelpool, the dean, the other dean, not the cool dean. Okay. Uh, it's good to see you, grades 10 through 12. Just a quick review of our academic integrity policy and why you just don't want to be even near an academic integrity violation, particularly this year. Okay. Nothing's really changed in terms of our policy, but Certainly the circumstances in which you are attending school remain non-traditional and stressful. So a brief recap of the rules, reasons not to cheat. Penalties remain the same, zero on assignment, meeting with the dean and parents, typically by phone over distance learning. Uh, three detentions, we'll figure out what detention looks like on uh, distance learning. Second offense, zero on assignment, two to three day suspension, 45 days activities probation, no sports, no dances, no clubs, no leadership positions. So we do get back to school or when, when we do get back to school, okay, and you're on probation, do you really want to miss that first dance? Do you really want to miss that first big game or performance? Uh, we don't want that for you, the administration and I. So way to avoid it is you avoid academic integrity, integrity violations, okay? Third offense, zero on assignment, and we reserve the right to expel. Okay. The more important stuff for today. Reasons not to cheat. Here's the basics. Your teachers actually want to teach, and they actually want you to learn. So I'm at campus right now. I was here, it's 11.13 in the morning right now. By the time I got here at 7.40, there were already a handful of teachers here getting stuff prepared for the day. They're in constant communication with each other, with admin, about how to help you guys learn more effectively over Zoom. The passion they have for getting you through distance learning with the best education as, as possible they, that they can provide is astounding. They want you to learn and they want to see your strengths and weaknesses, absolutely. Having been a teacher, the best moments as a professional are when you're able to clearly reveal to a student what they're great at in that subject and what they just need some help on or some work on, okay? That is, some of the most satisfying work that any professional can get to be part of. Finally, you have access to your teachers. You have their emails, you have them in class. Zooms don't last forever, okay? Uh, and even in Zooms, you can raise your hand. And if you're having a hard time getting a hold of a teacher, you can contact me. You can contact Coach Hawkins, Dr. Evans, Mrs. Martin, whichever one you're most comfortable with, certainly your counselors. Uh, we can help you get in contact with that teacher. That is not a problem, got it? So please take advantage of this moment and having teachers that really want you to succeed in spite of this pandemic. They want you ready for day one of college in spite of this pandemic, okay? Another reason not to cheat. Academic integrity investigations take time. There are very, very few, if any, uh, instantaneous rulings, okay? Your teacher's gonna contact me. Teacher's gonna present the evidence that they believe indicates that you have a violation or have committed a violation. I have to research each case. I'll be getting some statements probably from you. And if other students are clearly involved, I'll get it from them. And then I have to look at everything. Every now and then, if I just wanna make sure my logic is clear and I've got all my ducks in a row, I show the uh, evidence to the other administrators just to make sure that I haven't missed something. 
Then once it's clear what's going on, we have a talk with your parents, you and I. A ruling is issued. And I got to tell you, since offenses can lead to expulsion, you get a third strike on this. We want to get the ruling right. I want to get the ruling right. Every admin and every teacher wants the ruling to be right. So these administrations can take days. It doesn't mean we intentionally drag it out to torture you, but it takes time. You don't need the stress of an academic integrity investigation hanging over your head at this moment in time. Oh, what I say about stress? Think about what you're going through already. You're distance learning. And many of you are distance learning and taking care of a sibling. Or you have extra responsibilities around the house. Or you have a job. Or you're trying to get your college applications ready. You're looking at the Common App essay if it's available. You're doing what you need to do to get ready for your final year of high school and that first year of college. A lot of you are distance learning. You got family that are on the front lines of fighting this virus. That's a real stress. It's a stress that none of us as faculty, as administrators, as staff, have ever known. And all we know is that we don't want you more stressed than you need to be. So don't add to this mess. Do your best on an assignment. Like I've got down here. Pray, dear God, please let me do decent at this assignment. Please at least let me pass. Give it your all. Do your own work. Submit only your own work. Turn it in. Pray again, dear God, as I said before, please let me have found a way to do well on this and then move on. That's all you can do, folks. So that's it. No big scary lecture. Just a sincere plea from someone who's watched you grow up a little, okay? To not add to what is going on in your life with more stress. Do your own work. If you're concerned that you're not doing things right, that you're not following the academic integrity policy, reach out to the teacher before you submit. Reach out to your counselor. Reach out to me. And then we're going to do all we can to help you make sure that all of your work has, sub has been submitted with integrity. That's all I have for now. If you have questions, feel free to email me. And I look forward to seeing you on campus.